Hello students. Today the botany class is all about carbon cycle. As you have learned from the previous classes of photosynthesis, that light reaction takes place in order to make assimilatory powers. We have learned that assimilatory powers from light reaction are going to utilize in the Kelvin cycle, which is the topic of discussion today. The discovery of Kelvin cycle was done by Kelvin and Benson. Kelvin and Benson while working with an algal. The site of Calvin cycle is said to be stroma of chloroplast. In the stroma of chloroplast, there is already existing a 5 carbon molecule with 2 phosphates on it and the name of that molecule is ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate. With the 5 carbons of ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate, 1 carbon dioxide is going to add up. This process is said to be carboxylation. The process of carboxylation is catalyzed by the enzyme which is carboxylase which has a specific name here and said to be the most abundant enzyme in the biomolecule chapter of zoology classes and the name is rubisco. When you add this 5 carbons with 1 carbon here, we all in all have 6 carbons. But this cis carbon molecule is very unstable. So you make two molecules of 3,3 three carbons, which is called as 3-phosphoglyceric acid. That is the reason why you call it as C3 cycle as well. Students, the two molecules of 3-phosphoglyceric acid are going to be reduced now by addition of electrons and protons. So we require a reducing power. The reducing power is an ADPH2. Along with that, you need two ATP as well. And here, two ATPs are required. Students, this process is obviously called as reduction, which is the second step. Now, when acid, acid is reduced, you are going to form aldehyde. There, you have two molecules of the same. 3 carbon, 3 carbon, 6 carbon. From this 6 carbons, 1 carbon is going to go out. This 1 carbon and 1 phosphate is also going to be out. This 1 carbon is going to contribute for making of glucose. The rest 5 are regenerated back. So, here you have only 1 phosphate left now. In order to get that another one phosphate, you are going to utilize one ATP which is formed in the light reaction. All in all, in one round of Calvin cycle, you utilize two ATPs, one ATP, overall three ATPs. And you utilize only two NADPH2. All in all, you get one molecule of glucose by running six rounds of the Calvin cycle. Thank you.